You're one of the stable patients, they told me, as they kicked me to a dingy corner of the hospital with the other stable patients. No space, no privacy, no dignity, but hey, at least I wasn't dying. She waited months for a specialist appointment because she was stable. Couldn't work, couldn't read, couldn't eat if not for the tube in her side, couldn't lift her head. But she didn't look sick. If you ignored the puffy lines on her face, the way she always looked for a place to sit, the look of defeat in her eyes. But hey, at least she wasn't dying. But what is dying? Because I don't think this is living. Just lying in bed, staring at the TV but not really watching, sorting pills, scrolling through Tumblr and Twitter just to know there are others like me, and making plans I can never seem to keep. I'm not living, and what is the opposite of living? At least you're not dying, but I am. I'm dying on the inside, dying to live my life, dying to be independent, dying to work, Dying to go out for drinks with friends. Dying to hike a mountain or ride a roller coaster or spend all day fetching coffee for a pop. Promoting the life of the underpaid millennial so I can climb the ladder of success. We are dying to have new stories to tell because we're running out of ways to say, Yeah, still sick. With a smile. Every day we die in so many different ways and we know it will never stop. I will never wake up without pain without fear of how I will support myself or guilt because others must now support me. And I cheer when I see charity drives, awareness walks, new medications for scary diseases that I am lucky to not call my own. And yet, a small, unsettling, unwilling voice whispers, When will it be my turn? We're not dying, but sometimes that's the scariest part. We don't mean to be harsh. We don't mean to be morbid. But this is our truth. This is our reality. And part of that reality is softening our truth for you. But today, I just don't have the energy. This isn't a battle we can win. I'm not strong enough to beat it. My illness doesn't care how strong I am, how stubborn, how weak, how tired. Illness doesn't discriminate. It gets us all just the same. I'm tired of dying, and I fear I'll be dying the rest of my life. I know what you're thinking, but these words don't come from a place of depression. These words are my reality, and no medication can change that. I don't need fresh air. I don't need a new diet. I don't need a new supplement. I need funding. I need research. I need a damn miracle. Medical breakthrough. I need a break from my broken body. But I'm stuck here, a prisoner, with no chance of parole. Please don't tell me it could be worse. I know it could be worse. But it could also be better. So much better.